All right, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So as you guys may know, the Realm of Gods category recently received a very significant upgrade with the introduction of several top tier units like the Fizz Beerus, the LR Ultra Instinct Goku, uh, STR Whis, and also AGL Rose's Extreme Z Awakening. And collectively, these guys have made an already very powerful category that much better. So recently, over the past couple of days, I've been curious about just how much easier this new and improved team makes the Realm of God stage of Super Battle Road, which in my opinion is still the hardest Super Battle Road stage on Global, at least until the Extreme Super Battle Road mode makes its way over to Global. Like right now, I still think this is the hardest one, and uh, that's what we are here to find out in today's video, all right? So before we jump into the gameplay, let's quickly break down the team we're, gonna, oh, we're about to bring. And uh, we're starting here with my Fizz Beerus with a single dupe. And this dude is gonna probably hit pretty hard, but might be a little bit of a liability defensively. So I'm not gonna promise like a no item run because that takes a ton of RNG still, but I'll be somewhat conservative with my item usage. All right, next up we have the AGL Gogeta who is rainbowed. We have LRUI Goku, at least my LRUI Goku, who has a single dupe. And we have Fizz Vegito Blue, rainbowed. AGL Rose, not rainbowed, but three dupes. So close enough. I mean, the difference between a rainbow unit and a three dupe unit is really not that big. And also STR Whis with two dupes. And finally, the friend LRUI Goku has two dupes. So I do expect this guy to be most likely the MVP of today's run. So that's the team. Items, pretty standard. Icarus, Whis, Princess Snake, Android 8. And without further ado, let's pop in and pray for some good RNG. Like, I have a lot of faith in this team. I do think this team will do just fine, but RNG can always work against you, right? Like, it works in very mysterious ways. And you could definitely get like super three times in the first turn and still die. I mean, my boy Talon can definitely attest to that. So <laughs> let's hope that doesn't happen here. And first turn, we have UI Goku, we have Gogeta, and also Vegito. I think I'm gonna put Gogeta at the very end. We'll keep Vegito and UI in rotation. And just in case, just in case we get unlucky and don't get the dodges we're supposed to get. Let's pop an Icarus to start. All right, better safe than sorry. And uh, we'll go for this dude here. I think that's an ultra super. So that might actually take him out. But then what if we don't? If we don't, then Gogeta is still gonna get hit. Okay, so let's uh, play it safe. And we'll target him again, but I think that will definitely kill him. And then we'll go for Devil Man here. There we go. All right, so, so far so good. I mean, nothing's happened yet. Oh, please dodge this. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Okay, please dodge this one too. Thank you. <laughs> that was a clutch, that was a clutch. I don't even care that we took the third hit because we dodged the first two supers and that's what really matters, right? Like those supers sort of hurt a lot, especially because Goku hasn't had a chance to build up his defense yet. All right, so we're taking a hit there. 21 damage, all right, 16K there. Not bad, we dodged about half of those attacks. I'll take it. Can't complain about that. He has a 70% chance to dodge right now. But, uh, you know, sometimes on certain turns, he's gonna hit, get hit maybe like, you know, half the time or even like 70% of the time. Like, eventually though, like over time, as you guys know how these things work, uh, how, these, how these things work, the rate of dodge should even out right so like some turns he might get hit like three times and then other turns he might dodge like 10 attacks in a row you never know okay so we took out two guys in that turn that's really good we took out devil man and oh, i forgot this guy's name uh what's the kid's name it's in the, it starts with a p right i'm sure you got to tell me in the comments it starts with a p that's what i remember okay uh we still have the icarus active so i'm not too concerned uh, I want to keep Beerus and Whis together, but the issue is that 
Hmm, yeah, the issue is that Rosé at the end is also very concerning. So I'm thinking, what if we take out Hercule? Okay, so here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to... Actually, we're going to have to try it. I know I can do it. We're going to seal Videl just so we know that a super from Videl is not going to hit Rosé. And then we're going to go for Hercule and try to kill him. Although I don't think we have we have enough power power to do that, but we're gonna try. If we get a crit, then we might be able to kill him. Especially if we also get a crit from Rose. We'll see, man. We'll see. Anything is possible, right? Hmm. Okay. So we're getting 2.4 mil without taking any hits. If we had taken a hit first, that would be easily over 3 mil. Ooh. Oh yeah, we got Hercule. We got Hercule. Right, Hercule's dead. Now the concern is whether or not we're gonna take a super from the AGL dude, whose name I also forgot. Man. <laughs> we're off to a rough start as far, as far as names go. I mean, you guys know I'm pretty bad with names anyways, but uh, we're off to a pretty bad start, even like more than average um, for names in this video. Okay, so we'll leave the friend one. I mean, it hurts me to use the friend one in rotation as opposed to mine, but the friend one is better. So, uh, gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Uh, let's try to kill, let's try to kill Videl first. We can actually definitely kill her this turn. So, just give people orbs here, get an ultra super with mine. Videl's definitely dead. Um, okay, so that's not the first one. We're taking 52 damage. This is without any items now. Because we already used up the first two turns. With the Icarus. So that was with no items, we took, we, we took 52 damage. Alright, give me a couple more dodges, yes, perfect, please dodge this one too, oh, thank you. Yeah, there was a bit of a delay there, so, I was concerned for a minute. Videl's dead. Additional. Don't forget, Vegito Blue, still a monster in its own right. Third super. <laughs> oh my god. Four? Ah, oh, you know what? I'm gonna say there was gonna be a fourth super. There's no way to disprove that. So I'm saying, that was gonna be a fourth super, we just... Killed him before that happened. <sighs> He's so awesome, dude. All right, all right, I love it. Um, bro, come on. They're gonna have to. They're gonna make me break up the Beerus and Wiz, aren't they? <sighs> okay, so I'm going to play it safe again. We're gonna go for an Icarus. Like I said, man, no promise of a no item run. I mean, we already, we we already like through that out the window in the first turn, right? But I don't really want to go for that. I mean, I tried multiple times on stream and we got pretty close like one time, but the RNG required for no item run, especially in this stage, is just, it's, 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 too, it's too much, man, it's too much. I'll do it eventually, but not today. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave Whis in the front and I mean, I could just pray for Gogeta to get a couple of dodges. He can, he can do that, huh? Let me think about this. Okay, he, what I'm gonna do is, is is seal him, so we know at least we don't get we, get, we don't get super for, by him, and then uh, hmm, who should we go for? I guess we'll go for type advantage here. Go like that, and then Gogeta unfortunately doesn't get enough orbs to super, but we can get an additional. He does have like level 20 additional, so it's 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 possible. Alright. So he's gonna be sealed. We're not doing that much damage, but the seal is the kind of thing I care about the most. Additional, very nice. Oh he, he also low, lowers attack and defense too, actually, so um, we'll take less damage from him. He took a hit, but for 42 damage. <laughs> All right, all right, here's where the dodges come through. All right, Ultra Instinct Luis. I love it. I love it. Crit, come on. Crit, just kill him. Ah, crit would've killed him. Crit would've killed him. All right, Gogeta, please don't let me down. There we go. Okay, so that's one guy. All right, that's one out of four. And uh, yeah, so far this run has been going very, very smooth, guys. Very, very smoothly. Yo, if you're gonna dodge anything, please dodge this one. Gogeta, please, no. <laughs> it's okay, I'll live, I'll live. 
Um, I think this turn we're gonna go for. Hmm. We can go for Roshi actually, but. No, nah, okay, let's 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 take out the first dude. Uh, I think his name is Mutai Ito. It's either Mutaito or Mutai Ito. I forgot how exactly it's pronounced, but I have the letters right. I know that. I have the actual name spelling of the name right. I just don't remember exactly how they pronounced it. <laughs> all right, all right, nice, nice, nice. You are, yep, yep. Do your thing. Do your thing. I love that. I love that. I mean, look, it is very much like dependent on RNG, and I never like to trust RNG necessarily, but it's just so much fun, man, when you get those dodges. Uh, it's a good time. It's a good time. All right, crit. Okay, no crit there. Crit. No crit there. Okay, so some damage, nothing crazy. And Grandpa Gohan, I think is at full health right now, so we probably won't take him out there. But we are pretty close with a bunch of these guys. Um, let me see, let me see. You know what, I'm gonna put UI. You know what though? I kinda wanna keep the duo, the Whis and Beerus together. Mainly because they're new. And I want to be they just like showcase to you guys like how good they are, you know. So I think I'm gonna put Weez there. Ah, uh, you know what? Forget it. I was gonna put uh, uh, Beerus there so I can take the hit first. But I'm like, yeah, I don't know about that actually. I don't know about that. Um, there, there's too many attacks. So I'm gonna pop something real quick. Let's pop a Weez, a Weez for the Weez, and then we're gonna seal Roshi. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna seal Roshi. And then kill Mutaito slash Mutaito with Beerus. And then UI can just do his thing, man. Whatever he feels like doing. If he feels like just getting a normal attack, then do that. If he feels like getting additional and, you know, taking Grandpa Gohan out, that's cool too. That'd be nice too. But we'll let him do his thing, man. He's, uh, he's done a lot for us already in this run. Okay, so we're taking a couple of hits here. But nothing too concerning. 2.6 mil from, from Beerus. Keep in mind, of course, he does get much more attack and defense when he gets hit first. But I just didn't trust him enough, to be honest, to leave him in front of all those attacks. So hopefully there's a turn where like there's only a few attacks, you know, in the first slot, and then we can just leave him there. And uh, you know, trust him to not get us killed. But when it's like four or five attacks against Beerus, I just I don't feel comfortable with that, you know? Okay, this should be the last turn. Um, UI should take out Grandpa Gohan. There we go. And then Vegito and Gogeta should take out Master Roshi. And then we're, we're on to the last run. So far, this has been, I think, the easiest super battle road, at least for Realm of Gods run I've ever done. And I shouldn't be surprised, because like I said, the team got a massive, massive improvement, but it's still just nice to actually experience it like this, you know? Like, I, it was it was all theoretical before. Like, I hadn't, I hadn't uh, did like a real, like legit run with this team on Super Battle Road yet because I was trying to do no item the whole time, right? And I was doing a different team with no item because I wanted to bring some healers, some, uh, you know, some more like tanky units and stuff like that. But if I'm using items, then it's not as much of a concern, right? All right, oh, here we go, all right. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna trust that that first attack is not a super. All right, I know I'm leaving it to the fates. I'm leaving it to RNG, which is never a good idea. And it, it worked out this time. All right, here we go. 3.5 mil, there you go. We went up from 2.6 to 3.5. That was the difference that that one hit made. Beautiful, all right. Last stage, my friends. And then we're out of here so far, 14 minutes. And this could be a new record for time. This could be a new record for time. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go like with that. We're gonna go with the Whis. And let's go for our boy Krillin, who just got an amazing LR, by the way. If you guys haven't seen the showcase, 
for the new LR Krillin. Make sure to go check that out after you watch this video. It's going to be somewhere above my head. I'll put a link and you guys can just click on that and uh, enjoy. He is so good, man. LR Krillin. And the craziest thing is that he was very impressive on the Legendary Goku event. But that's not even like his best mode, you know, like the Legend Goku event is... Ooh, yeah, Icarus was a good call. <laughs> Icarus was a good call. Um, his best mode, in my opinion, is definitely World Tournament. And I couldn't do a showcase with him on World Tournament because we don't have a World Tournament on Global. But once we do, we're going to do another showcase. And I'm going to just like let you guys see what kind of monster he becomes on that mode. But for now, you know, even on single enemy uh, stages, he still holds his own, like, very, very well. Especially for the longer stages. Alright, I was hoping to take somebody out here, but I don't think we will. Although Krillin's almost dead. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that was no fun. That was no fun. Yeah, that super. Like, Vegito Blue, as much as I love him, as, as amazing as he is. Uh... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> uh, that was dangerous, man. That was dangerous. Yo, you, I, what, what is you doing? This man with a seventy percent chance to dodge took two supers. Well, between the two UIs, but two supers. What is this man doing? All right, let's pop a percent snake so that we can be absolutely sure that we're safe this turn. Because we, I think we got Weiss, we got we got Weiss active and the Princess Snake. Um, it should it should be game over. It should be game over for. I mean, at least for damage. You know, like we're not gonna take that much damage. Can we get a Dokkan attack? Maybe. Please. There we go. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so we're getting the extra boost. Yeah, we're not taking any any damage this turn. And then if I do this Dokkan attack properly, we might be able to wipe the entire, entire field. All right, four, five, six, boom, got it. Show me something good, man. All right, 3.17 here. If we get the crit, then we might be able to take everybody out. At least Krillin's dead, that's for sure. Mmm, no crit there. Oh, we got close though. We got very close. Yeah, okay, so just just disregard that last turn. It didn't happen. All right, the last turn did not happen. We didn't almost die. <laughs> that was that that was honestly a bit of an anomaly. Like I, I did not see you know two supers landing on UI. Like that's that that's a little bit rare. But you know, it does happen every once in a while. Like I said, man, like, it evens out eventually, right? We've had a couple of turns where UI has dodged a lot. And then we had a couple of turns, or, you know, that one turn where he took two supers. And while it sucked, we still stayed alive. So I'm just gonna let it pass. Because at the end of the day, he's still, he's still the MVP of this run. There's no doubt. This man is still the MVP of this run. <laughs> I just wish that one turn hadn't happened to like not blemish his overall performance. All right, all right, come on. Wow, had to super me right before, right before we finish this up. All right, so that takes care of Tien, and uh, this will take care of Chaozu. You know what? It's only fitting that we let the new unit. It's only fitting that we let Beerus at his max potential, at least on this team. I mean, obviously, if you have supports and stuff like that, he can do even more damage. But currently, on this team, at his max potential, finish it off. So here we go. I mean, there's no... Chaosu can't super again, right? Can't super again. We're safe. Alright, 62 damage, and we're over 5 million. Over 5 million, effective against all, with a crit, 3.3. There we go, and that is the run, guys. That is the new and improved Realm of Gods team on Super Battle Road. Like I said, I still think it's quite a difficult stage. It's still the hardest Super Battle Road stage, in my opinion, not counting Extreme Super Battle Road. New time, 
The old one was 19 minutes. So we beat the old record by about two minutes. Not too bad. And uh, I wish I could add this guy, but I can't. So uh, shout out to you. Thank you for the assist in today's video. And you know what? Let's put UI as the cover page since he was the MVP. That's it though, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's uh, all I really came here to do, man. I was curious about how, you know, how much easier the stage is. And I will say there's still a challenge for sure, but it has become significantly easier, man. It has become like much more chill. Like it's kind of a breeze now. Um, if I hadn't taken those two supers at the very end, we basically wouldn't have taken much damage throughout the entire run, right? So that's it. Yeah. I think it was a successful, successful run, successful test. I'm impressed. This is definitely one of my favorite teams in the game to run now. Usually, actually, without, uh, you know, when we're not doing a super bad road, I'd like to also run the LR Godku. Um, he, he, he's like, he's, he's okay. He's good. Uh, but the main reason I like to run him is just so I can have like a double LR Goku rotation. I just think it's dope. But yeah, guys, that is today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys had fun or at least close to as much fun as I had making this video. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.